Be it your jerk neighbor who's mooting off your Wi-Fi or your little ankle biters who keep watching YouTube videos incessantly. I mean, how do you reckon Logan Paul's getting all them views? Anyway, there's plenty of reasons why you wanna kick people off your Wi-Fi because God forbid, what if someone uses that network to do something lawless? You don't want the FBI to knock on your doorstep now, do you? Now that you're all riled up, I'm vamping on smart DNS proxy and in this video, I'll show you how to kick people off your Wi-Fi network connection. A quick way to check if someone's stealing your Wi-Fi connection is by looking at your router's indicators. Shut down all wireless devices and see if your router's indicators are still blinking. If they are, then there's a high chance that an intruder is using your Wi-Fi. To confirm this, you can log into your router and check all the devices that are connected to your router and if you don't have access to your router's login, then you can use the Fing app from your smartphone. The app is available both on Android and iOS and shows you the list of all connected devices and even what type of devices, like if they're a smartphone or an Apple computer and the nature of their connection, MAC address and so on. So once you're confident that someone indeed is using your Wi-Fi connection without your permission, here's how you kick them off of your Wi-Fi. Assuming that you have access to your router, the easiest way to kick people off your Wi-Fi is by simply changing the password. Simply open up any web browser and type in your router's IP address. Usually it's 192.168.1.1 and then enter the username and password. Once you're in, look for a wireless option or the Wi-Fi security options. There, you'll see your Wi-Fi password. Change it now. This will disconnect every device that was previously connected to your router, including the Wi-Fi moocher. If you don't want to go through the painstaking process of reconnecting all the devices with a new password, then don't fret. You can just block one device at a time from your router settings. All routers have a different interface, so there's no real fixed guide. But in general, you need to look for DHCP options or client list. Once there, look for the MAC address that doesn't belong to your home network. Some routers are smart enough to fetch the device names as well. For rest, you have to use apps like Fing or check manually. Once you find the rogue MAC address, simply disconnect it. But there's one tiny problem. The DHCP list on the router doesn't show all the devices that are connected, but only the devices that got the IP address from the router, which will make some knockoff Mr. Robot hacker get into your system with some static IP address and God knows what he wants. If for some reason you don't have access to your router, you can still kick people off your Wi-Fi with a number of apps available out there in the cloud. To disconnect Wi-Fi users from PC, we're going to use a free application called NetCut. Once you install and launch the app, it'll give you a list of all the devices. So select the MAC address you want to block and click on the cut option. This will disconnect the internet from the targeted device. On your Mac, you can use the Jam Wi-Fi app. Once the app opens, select the MAC address of the device whose internet you want to block and click on death button. This action will disconnect the internet from the victim's device and unfortunately, your computer too. Similarly for Android users, you can use the Wi-Fi Kill or Netcut app. They work similarly like the previous one. The only downside is you'll need a rooted Android device. So if you don't happen to have access to your router and want to download some third party app, Here's something that you can try. There's no guarantee it'll work, so don't hold it against me. First off, find the IP address of the device on your network and use the same IP address for your device by going to the static IP address settings. So what's happening here is that since you're using the same IP address as the hacker, the router will get confused and disconnect both devices from the network. Though this is far from perfect as the hacker can reinitiate the connection and the DHCP server will give him or her a new local IP address. So there you go, now that you've kicked intruders out of your Wi-Fi, make sure you set up a strong password and limit your Wi-Fi reach. Also, MAC filtering is obviously of no use and MAC address can be changed by both hackers and amateurs alike. So a better way of defense is using WP2 encryption. That said, do let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And watch that Wi-Fi. Bye for now.